Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First off, so sorry um, that it's taken me a bit of time to get to my first video post poor con. Um, I came back with COVID like a lot of us did and um, you know, I'm on the mend now, still a little congested, but uh, this was my first pour in the studio and um, it's an interesting one. I'm elated with the result, but it is definitely different. Those two colors I just showed you were Agapanthus by this little piggy and um, a hammerhead. Also, too, I have to say, I, as I touch that knife right there, Fluid Art Co. makes these piggy paddles, I guess is what they're called, and they're larger mixing sticks, and I'm kind of obsessed with them. So if you mix big old things of paint, dude, piggy paddles are awesome, honestly. So I have to give a shout out to them because I love them. So this is an 18-inch round, and... Um, the first color going in here is the Hammerhead by this little piggy. Next up is Payne's Gray, and this is actually by Creative Inspirations. Here is my Vallejo Pearl Medium Cloud Mix. An artist loft soft body. This is a, I want to put a little bit more of that in there. Something kind of told me you're going to need more cloud mix. <laughs> this is a custom mauve. I believe it's by Lucas. And then I put a little bit of Payne's gray in there as well. A different Payne's gray that is more gray tone, black tone. This is going to be Agapanthus by this little piggy. I didn't use too much of that. Um, yeah, next up is the Payne's Gray again. Then we're going to go in with the Cloud Mix. Then there's more of the Payne's Gray. So I'm going to end with that, and then I believe I put down or put in some more of the oh I had more of that mixed up I had more of the paint gray mixed up and that'll be what I used for the pillow also so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down some pillow here but you guys yeah this one is definitely different you know and I realized during this whole process that the pour out of this cup was um, basically the painting. That was the painting. And uh, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm still having a little bit of COVID fog, but this I poured out really slow. Um, like I do all my paintings and I did not speed this up, but this cup takes a while to empty. So, you know, I saw that first bit of cloud right there and I thought, oh gosh, I should have put more. What was I thinking? I thought I put enough. And um, I just continued to go because I said, you know, I said to myself, you know, there's more cloud, you know, near the bottom of the cup. But um, if you continue watching, you'll see that this uh, cloud mix definitely played a few games with me, um, showing up the cloud. And I realized, you know, well, I knew this, but this was, uh, this, uh, Payne's gray I used, I put it beside the cloud layer near the bottom of the cup. Now I've never used this creative inspirations before. And, um, sometimes the cloud mix, the Vallejo Pearl medium cloud mix that I use that I make doesn't play as harmoniously with all paint brands and that's just something the more cloud pours you do and if you use this cloud mix recipe you'll notice that so not all paints play nice with other paints so right now um i started doing a really tight slow ring pour and then spinning my canvas with the other hand 
hand. I can't believe I didn't mess this up, honestly. But there are cloud bits showing up in this spiral in the center. So I just went with it. I kept going. And um, I'm actually going to shut up and let you guys watch this. I sped up a lot of this video because there was a lot of just kind of looking at it and just keeping the center in the center. So yeah, hang with me. I will be back uh, shortly. Hi guys, I know I was just talking to you a few minutes ago, but um, I cut out a lot of this video because it was really, like I said a few minutes ago, you know, it was really about keeping that center in the center. And uh, I'm still kind of tweaking it and a lot of it's, you know, sped up, but gosh, you guys, like, I love this. I love this so much. I There's something whimsical and I don't even, I, I need to sit with this piece more. Um, it's not quite dry yet, but um, you know, when that cloud bit started to emerge, when I was doing that ring pour and spiral in the center, I was like, yes, like, how's this going to develop? And I actually thought to myself, I hope it doesn't get so puffy that it ruins the structure. And uh, my paints were fairly thick, so I didn't think it was going to do that. And um, it didn't. So I was super happy about that. But, you know, really this bit is just about, you know, keeping that circular form and uh, around the outside and and tilting off stuff um, and, and, and just keeping that that curvy spiral in the center and I'm just uh, really elated with this and the pour out of the cup you guys sometimes I think a lot of the times especially with the cloud pours that I do is so important like take your time 
I know we all can't have a super steady hand, but, you know, work with what you got. You know, we're all very unique and we all create in a very specific way that's specific to us, you know, and I, I think I really learned that at PoorCon, you know, we all had the same colors and we all tried to, you know, um, layer the cup the same way, but when everyone poured out their piece, you guys, it was different. And I loved that. It was like, wow, we are all unique individuals. And no matter if you try to copy someone, you're never going to be able to copy them because you're you. And I know it's getting a little sappy, but PoorCon was just so amazing. And I was so happy with all the people that and humbled all the people that took my class. And I just, the artwork that came out of that class was just out of control gorgeous. And I'll talk about it more in the coming videos. But yeah, check this out, you guys. That's the Agapanthus in there and that mauve. And you can see there's the cloud. This is all cloudy stuff at the bottom, but that cloud sunk a little bit, which I was like, did I do something different in my COVID sickness? Did I, <laughs> did I pour it or did I mix it differently? No, it just reacted differently with the paints this time. Um, here's the center. I could have continued to stretch this out and I'm sure these would have pulled apart and puffed up, but I didn't want to. I liked it like this. So you guys, let me know what you think of this piece. I think I'm going to call it emergence, but um, yeah, let me know what you think. I will have a dried video up um, soon, but thanks again for hanging out with me. Um, please like and share and uh, subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.